Thought the God of wisdom guides my path through the desert of my soul. The sands of time shift and swirl as I search for truth and meaning. Marked by the eye of Horus, I see the secrets of ancient Egypt. The pyramids hold the key to unlocking my inner power. I am a mystic, a shaman of the unknown. I dance between worlds, I am not alone. With every step, I awaken my soul and embrace the power within me. I dive deep into the unknown and discover my true purpose. The spirits of my ancestors guide my way as I journey through the stars. I am connected to all that is. And my heart sings with all belong. You got Jared Cannonier versus Kyle, Kyle Byro. I don't know how to say it. Whatever. Anyways, I'm horrible. I can't say things. I'm bad. Sometimes I can say things. Kyle, Kyle, Barallo, Barallo, Barallo. Sorry. Sorry I butchered your name if I did. But look, look what we got here. You look gorilla. The natural 31 40 last fight, I think, right? Retires, yeah. Anyways, 5'11, 77 and a half inch reach, 1984, March 16th, Pisces. Oh, wait, we don't need that information. This is what we need. This is what we want right here. So he lost his last fight, Jared Kennedy or did. Um, he beat Sean Strickland, though. He beat Marvin Vittori. Uh, he wins by a KO TKO half the time. Got a few submissions, decisions. Morales got mm, KO TKO submission, more decisions. He lost back to Alameda. Oh, that's it. Huh. All right, so what we got here, y'all, is... I said all this. Uh, I think Barallo wins. Pisces, Capricorn. Jupiter, Saturn. That's what period of the year at 40 years old. And how close he is to the, his birthday. It's called the Jupiter period in the Destiny cards. Where all those in his Saturn period. Seven of Diamonds, Jack of Diamonds. Success through or from social aspects. Cooperation brings abundance, creative energies to increase financial life and could make a lot of money. That sounds good for Jared. Morales got constructive self-development, hard work, patience, and knowledge to make successful outcome. Medical issues or challenges can come up. Beware of dishonest or just reputable individuals. Okay, so there might be some shady shadow workings against him. We have King of Diamonds over here for Jared. Uh, artist card. Diversity brings many blessings. Creative work brings financial success, huge success in finances and business from an application of knowledge. Wow, 
follows God, six of clubs, influence, promoting harmony and wisdom, gives abundance, expansion of spiritual and social life with a financial abundance. That sounds pretty good. Jared's got long range uh, for his year, this is his 40th year on planet Earth. <laughs> The long range says strong feelings and power to influence others can help or backfire. Indicator of success in arts and business. So martial arts, you know, maybe at the gym or at locally, I don't know, right here at the UFC. I mean, you are getting paid regardless showing up, right? Success, recognition and popularity will come. Large groups of people are favorably disposed of to him. Uh, all right. And then Borello, 31, right? So his long range 31 year on planet Earth is Sun Card. Newfound prominence in one's work or profession, power to make a lot of money, power to bully, but caution for karma if you do bully. Material mastery and accomplishment can accomplish most anything set mind to. Assume leadership and responsibility to the uh, responsibility of this to get the most. And then here we go, we got displacement. The new thing here we got uh, for Jared, he's got challenges with personal fears and doubts. Mental mastery can provide some success. He has to overcome that shadow part of himself and his mind. Shadow work there. Um, we're out, I mean, a 40 year old, that's the kind of stuff we work on. Displacement here for Borello, 31. Mind and will will come, overcome obstacles. Career responsibility requires more time and energy. Mysterious wish fulfillment, wish fulfillment in, is determined by his approach to life. Year of good money and nothing on Jared's side. Trans score plus seven for Borallo and minus two for Jared. Professional affinity score 61%. I don't know who's gonna win yet. I'm still thinking about it because look, sub on both sides, KO. I mean, both can win. I'm leaning on Cat Barallo, but I don't know yet. So, here's the astrology. Of uh, Jared. And his transits. And here's the scores. Look at his uh, long-term transits. A lot of opposition, conjunction, conjunction, opposition, sexed out, trying, square, square, a lot of issues here. Conjunction. And I don't mean issues like he's got issues, but like, you know, issues of energy, the feeling, how he feels, like, you know, sometimes the weather feels different about yourself. Well, that's what that is. No, it's not, not every day is gonna be the same, right? And the energy of every day is not like always going to be the same, right? So, here we go for Borallos. Transits. And his scores. This is a little bit better. Some square opposition, but try and try and try and try and check out. Alright, plus seven. We call this. Uh, 61%. So these guys lean more towards liking each other than not, but they're not best of friends. You know what I mean? They're going to bang and they're going to bang. If not, then not. I mean, it's all up to free will still at the end of the day. So person could lay down on their back and say, I quit because I'm having an issue or something or whatever. Or could come in there with a broken leg or whatever. You know what I mean? We've seen these things before. <laughs> so... There's no guarantees, but let's get into the tarot and see what that says, all right? Well, I got the epic tarot here for Jared and then cosmic tarot for Borello, or I'm sorry, I have a hard time with that. Is it Kyo? Cow? I don't know. <laughs> see, I'm bad. Borello. I like that last name, Borello, though. Um, so, yeah, cosmic for him. Epic. Let's get into it and see what we get.
Okay, well, with Jared Cannonier, he's got the full energy here with his uh, fighting energy atmosphere of the fight, which is like a leap of faith and just going out there and giving it all and doing like a fight like I don't care if I get knocked out or beat up. And of course, he's not going to be stupid, right? Jared Cannonier, but. He has the hangman perception here in his mental game and the eight of swords in his spiritual game which is healing the spiritual wounds and and being his own hero and then or his own best friend or whatever that could be for him the unicorn of chalices and his emotions pure you know divine emotional respect and uh, you know what i mean the 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 infinite abyss of love and, or jesus christ or whatever he wants to believe in um and the hangman is a new perception in the mental game. So I think he's like gonna like throw a weird spinning back fist, flying knee, spinning elbow when he's back against the cage or something. I don't know. Like all kinds of crazy shit could happen with Jared Hennier in this fight. Cause he's got the high priestess in his physical game in reverse, which is like not uh, allowing the spiritual divine universal quantum physics you know what i mean like zen like fighting style like is your adesanya tries to show off which he does a lot of the time you know what i mean that kind of energy he's not doing that it's in reverse so it's like a disciplined soldier do it this way this is how we do it kind of with the hang man spinning elbow back fist could ha come out of nowhere so he's still going to stick to his game plan and he just might out of nowhere do something that you haven't seen him do before okay or you have seen him do before but it's very rare or something like that and then he has the phoenix of spheres in reverse in his social game which is like um, not it's like a dying of the phoenix instead of a rebirth so this is because he did say retire uh so this is the end of his fighting career it's not the beginning of something it's the finishing of something so the social game is there there's in sign of that all right so let's move on to Baral's deck and see what we get Okay, well, Kai Barallo has the devil here in his physical game, and he's a Capricorn, so that means he's got his Capricorn superpower in the physical fight game. I think he's going to submit him. He does have this lethargy, or like, this like, uh, I don't want to engage with Jared because he's going to knock me out, or like, I got to be careful. I, I don't think it's going to, because I, we do have a 61% affinity, I think that he's going to be a little more calculated. He's not going to be so <clears throat> out there to prove a new beginning point of him or some badassery. He's going to be cold and calculated. He has the Emperor in reverse, which is really strong, harsh power, spiritual power, uh, tyrannical spiritual power with his Capricornness and then his Two of Cups. And his emotions, he's fighting for his love of his wife or his family or whatever that is for him. So he's stable in his emotional game. He might be a little on the dark side with his spirit and his physical game. He has this, I'm not a beginner or this new passion. I am here to just win. And then the four swords is a social game in reverse and the empress combination with the energy of the fight is like, uh, he's going to stand arrogant and tall in the wind in the social game and maybe rub people the wrong way or maybe irritate Jared or he's going to poke eyes or something on accident or something. I don't know. Something's going to happen to where he's going to do the four swords in reverse is like still fighting. It's still fighting energy, like not settle or not. Maybe I'm wrong, but maybe they do hug and nothing's everything. The fight was perfect and there, there was no fouls and no violations, no discrepancies. But maybe there is discrepancies and he's going to be a little bit, I'll beat you up still. And 
and then Jared's like, I retire. So I don't know, something there. But I'm, st- I think I'm gonna go with Varal as the winner. I think it's gonna be one of those slow, calculated, painful fights. It's not gonna be one of those he- banging, harsh fights. I don't think. I think it's gonna be. I gotta be careful with Jared because he he's tricky. He can knock you out. But I, I got the win, and Jared's going to be like, I can do whatever I want. This is my last fight, so watch out. And so there's that. So I give the Brow about 70% chance of winning, and that's where I'm at. I pick him. Don't forget, if you have some gambling addictions, please do go and make sure you see some help about it. <clears throat> and then also, subscribe, like, and share those amazing things you do. I love you. I'll check you later, babe. Bye. Bye. <laughs>